we have come together to witness the marriage of Henry, Charles, Albert, David, and Rachel Meghan, to pray for God's blessing on them, to share their joy, and to The world watched with excitement as Prince Harry married Meghan Markle in St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle almost one year ago now. Photographer Alexei Lubomirsky was there to capture the official portraits of the royal couple on their wedding day. Lubomirsky also took those iconic engagement photos, and now he's got a new children's book. It's called Thank You for My Dreams, Bedtime Prayers of Gratitude. Good morning to you. This is not your first book, we, you, we should say. You've been doing this before. I have done this before, have yes. At the table. But I got a little goosebumpy just looking at that video. And listen, Alexi, you were there inside the church. Can you believe it's been a year? I know. It's been crazy. It seems like yesterday. It was, uh, it was an now, amazing experience. Now, we're all waiting for the baby. Have they asked you to do the baby photo? No. You know, last time I, oh, the first time I came on the show, I'd only done the engagement, and I didn't know about the wedding ones. So it's the same situation now. If they yeah. call me, it's fantastic. If not, <laughs> I've had a wonderful run with them. Yeah. If they call you, you can figure out a way to get to the you, you, to get to Windsor. Yes. Lickety split. Yeah, exactly. So let's talk about your book. I love the title. Thank you for my dreams. And I love the first thing that starts with thank you for letting us wake up every morning when we feel happy and healthy. I yeah. think everybody in this room said that today. Right. But you said even for yourself saying thank you came to you in your 20s. What do you mean? Uh, you know, you, you notice um, how your body reacts when you start to feel depressed or sad or angry about something, and I wanted to switch it, and so I started saying thank yous and focusing a couple of minutes on two things I was grateful for. And you immediately notice the change in your, in your, your uh, demeanor. Mm -hmm. And the problem will still be there, but you you're better, better, uh, in a better space to deal with it. But then your four-year-old son heard you. Well, yes. Yeah, so in, in the last decade, my, my, two -year my two sons have been watching me meditate and then do my thank yous in the morning, and they wanted to know what I was doing. So I started incorporating them into the practice. And at the beginning, it was a bit difficult for them to think of more than two or three things to say thank you for. It was usually yeah. thank you for mommy and daddy, thank you for my chocolate chip cookies, yes. and thank you for my car, my toy or something. Right. And after a few months, they got more and more fluent until one night we were on holiday and they started saying a thank yous and they didn't stop. And it went on for hours. Uh -huh. So I started, I thought, I've got to write this down. This is yeah. amazing. And so yeah. just actually, I was just a secretary on this job. They, they wrote. To so all of these are theirs. Yeah. And it's also, they've studied this and the gratitude before bedtime actually has a measure, measurable improvement Absolutely, on yeah. one's uh, outlook in life. So this is now hardwired into your kid's behavior, it's not kids. just before bedtime, but. In everything. And it's really about sort of saying thankful, being thankful for things that we take for granted every day. So like, for example, thank you for your eyes so you can see everything beautiful in the world. Thank you for uh, your legs so you can run. Thank you for your ears so you can hear your loved one's voices. Just things that everyday things. No, but that... this is a very smart little child. Who said this? Thank you for making me patient when I keep trying to do something that doesn't work. Like when I was learning to ride a bicycle and kept hurting myself. That was my eldest son. Yeah, that's a very smart thing. And someone else said, thank you for people not using plastic straws. Yeah, my son's See? an eco-warrior. My wife, uh, Jada, she has a thing called Eco Shaker. And she yeah. is a massive environmentalist. So our sons are hardwired into that as well. How, um, does, that, how does that gratitude sort of uh, work in your, in, in your daily professional life? I mean, your photography is spectacular. Thank you very it's much. Beautiful. Thank you. And, thank you. You, and you photograph some of the most famous people in the world. But it's not an easy job. No, well, but, but it's a fantastic job. You know, I mean, I'm so blessed to do what I do. I get to travel around the world. I get to take pictures of fascinating people in beautiful dresses and beautiful locations. I mean, what's not to be thankful for? <laughs> <laughs> so, it's true. Yeah. And we should say, as we're talking to you, Sky News is reporting that Megan is in labor. Oh, right. Oh, as we're, as really? we're sitting here talking there to you, you right now. Hot off the press. Yeah, hot yeah. off the press. And how did you and how did you find both of them? What kind of parents do you think they'll be? I think they'll be amazing. Listen, they're just a beautiful young couple in love. They got their heads on, screwed on straight, and um, they're going to be amazing. It's going to be very exciting to see what how it all turns out. Boy, we're excited. I know. Are you still on a high? Because that that uh, that picture that you took of the whole family with the queen there. Mm -hmm. Did you really not feel any pressure, any nervousness, knowing that the Queen and Prince Philip are there, <laughs> and the little kids, and to get everybody looking straight at the camera at the same time? I felt immense pressure. Good on you, yeah. Yeah, good on you, Alexi. But it was, you know, it's one of those things. You you uh, you go in there and sort of fake it until you make it. And uh, I was just saying, right, everybody into the camera. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. And uh, yeah. Well, if she's wow. in labor now. It'll either be a boy or a girl. <laughs> I'm hoping for a boy. I like a big older brother. <laughs> I'm hoping for that. Thank you, Alexi Lubomirsky. Good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for my dreams is what it's called. It's on sale tomorrow, wherever you like to buy your books. We'll be right back.